gonna take you back to the guest to play the shitty game to pass guest he'd rather have a buffalo guest turn <laughs> Dick Van Dyke is fucking Madonna in the movie. You think that's enough dicks? Case puns that get the every kid on the block was running around saying dick fuck dick fuck. And I was like, you know, how is dick short for fuck? That doesn't even make any sense. But anyway, I'm going to tell you all about the NES game, and boy, is it an experience. It starts in the police department, where you can either hit the streets, look at your notepad, or look at your dick shots. If you look at your notepad, it gives you your first clue right off the bat. There's a fake $20 rock found near Steve the Tramp's flop house. So we hit the streets, and we start driving to 5th and B. Our first problem is trying to steer the car. It automatically puts you in the right lane with no freedom to move around. The car snaps onto the other roads. It's the absolute worst overhead driving control I've ever seen in a game. Even worse, you take damage when you crash into other cars. So you get the fifth and B, you go inside, and then the game goes to a side-scroller mode. What the hell's wrong with Dickard? He looks like he's got a bad son. You can punch the living shit out of people, but it's more amusing to use your gun. BAM! And the dirt is gone! So you get to Steve the Devise Ziggis, whose on-screen character looks nothing like his mugshot. If you interrogate him, he'll give you some information, which basically tells you to go to the 9th and F pier. So, you go to 9th and F, where you encounter more bad guys. There's times when you're trying to shoot someone when all of a sudden an unarmed dick drops down in your line of fire. That's bullshit. <laughs> Why wouldn't a detective bring the NES, the TV, and the controller with him? Dumb dick. Ah, oh, the fucking snipers got me. Game over? Game! Oh my god, who the hell cares? Fuck, 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 Your damn clothes off. <laughs> <laughs>